Hi, I'm Joanna Smith, and today we'll look at how Stream Analytics from Google Cloud helps bring the real-time e-commerce experience to life. Real-time data is unique in that it provides an opportunity for businesses to react without delay. Valuable events, such as an online shopper clicking on an item's details, can trigger dynamic and immediate experiences on a website or mobile app. The opportunity to generate value around this data type is only growing. In fact, the International Data Corporation estimates that within five years, more than a quarter of all data globally will be real-time in nature. But for an application to react to real-time data, it's crucial to have data analysis, insights, and actions that occur without human intervention. Stream Analytics does just that, offering automated real-time data analysis. Let's take a look. Here, we've got our e-commerce site, NewKix, and on the right throughout this demo, you'll see some context on what's happening behind the JavaScript on the GCP platform. Let's take a look at how Stream Analytics can improve the NewKix shopping experience and drive sales. We've used PubSub, Dataflow, BigQuery, and Bigtable to create the data streams that will allow NewKix to make their data actionable within milliseconds of being generated. For example, the hot item flag is created in real time, as PubSub ingests user clicks throughout the site to be processed by Dataflow, allowing NewKix to determine which products are currently being viewed by at least 50 people. When our shopper clicks on an item, they see that there are 62 people looking at these exact shoes at this moment. Our shopper adds the shoes to their cart and immediately sees a low inventory alert powered by data from the inventory stream and based on real-time stock availability information. To reliably offer this type of shopping experience, even during busy times, NewKix relies on PubSub's ability to ingest millions of events per second, combined with data flows exactly once processing with fault tolerance. If a user misses their opportunity window and the shoes become out of stock, real-time AI can turn a frustrating user moment into a seamless exchange with a personalized product replacement suggestion. In parallel, this inventory insight also enables NewKix to trigger a back-end stock replenish process. Our shopper liked the alternative shoes, and when checking out, is offered a chance to pick them up in a nearby store. Here, NewKix uses real-time inventory and transactional data from the local stores to offer the user a chance to get their shoes faster. Real-time data enabled NewKix to act and react to create a positive purchase experience. That's one more happy customer. Now let's take a look at how this works within the Google Cloud platform. Real-time data is generated based on certain events like user interactions. So the first step is to configure an event to push to PubSub, which will serve as a trigger for a particular data stream. To create that data stream, start by defining a topic in PubSub. With Stackdriver, we can see high-level summaries for our PubSub activity. Here, we have the rate of incoming messages for all three of NewKix's data streams. The message volume comes in bursts, based on the day of the week or the time of day. Our demo peaks at around 200 to 300 messages per second, but could scale to thousands or even millions of events per second without anyone having to change a thing. No planning necessary, because PubSub is a fully managed service that automatically scales to what's needed. Another interesting summary is the oldest unacknowledged message within any topic, here we can see they are being picked up just a few seconds after being pushed into PubSub. And with this monitoring system, we can set up alerts to send out notifications if values extend beyond our SLOs. After the data is ingested, it needs to be processed, and this is where Dataflow takes over. By establishing Dataflow pipelines, those initial events can trigger application behaviors, business logic, or even additional processing steps. These pipelines run on the flexible, open-source Apache Beam SDK. They were built programmatically, using Dataflow's wide variety of supported programming languages, including Java, Python, and the recent edition of SQL, with more set to come. In Stackdriver, we can see graphs of the rate of processing for Dataflow, but let's take a deeper look at how we actually process that data. In the Dataflow monitoring graph, we can explore each of the three streaming pipelines we saw for NewKix, Click, Inventory, and Transactional. On this page, we see various statistics for the pipeline, CPU, throughput, etc. But for a closer look at what the pipeline is actually doing, let's change tabs. Now we can see the processing pipeline. There are three sources of data, each being processed independently before joining together for cross-stream analytics. From data validation and correction to flattening and formatting, all of this is happening in real time, rather than through a series of batch processing steps. Interestingly, some pipelines pull data from a PubSub sync and land right back in PubSub for the next stage of processing. This is one of the core promises of Stream Analytics, joining the data analytics processing system directly to the operational systems. Once processed, our data moves to either Bigtable for low latency, high concurrency availability back to the NewKix website, or to BigQuery for deeper analytics. 
we saw how Nukex applied these data streams within their website. So now let's take a look at what happens in BigQuery. In the BigQuery user interface, the data sets this user can access are listed on the left, and we can choose to look at the clickstream table under the retail data set. We can see it has about 118 million rows of data, and that it is auto-partitioned by time using the timestamp column. Additionally, right here within the BigQuery web UI, users have the ability to write and run SQL queries against both Dataflow for further ease and flexibility of pipeline creation and BigQuery. We've already seen Dataflow in action, so let's run a query against the fresh data in BigQuery. Say the last 10 minutes? We can also run more complex queries like this one, which merges our clickstream and transactional data streams to output popular sales items sold online in the last 10 minutes versus in store in the last hour. The power of stream analytics is that the entire process from the first event trigger to your application reacting is entirely hands-off. Once you set up your data stream, the auto scaling capabilities of PubSub and Dataflow help ensure that the entire interaction keeps working, even at the busiest moments. But when you do want to take a deeper look, dashboards for real-time data and data streams are still classic. Let's take that closer look. In Looker, we can see visualizations for data analysts supporting real-time website activity. For example, here we have our purchase conversion funnel. This data is updating with an auto refresh running every minute. Even though stream analytics occur in real time, dashboards like this allow you to review performance in order to glean insights and optimize for the future. Looker consumes and aggregates real-time data streams to help Nukix determine things like where in the purchasing process a user is most likely to abandon, or whether hot item flags perform best when set to display for products with greater than 50 viewers or greater than 100 viewers. And that is how Stream Analytics from Google Cloud, built on the auto-scaling infrastructure of PubSub, Dataflow, and BigQuery, helps bring to life the real-time e-commerce experience. Check the documentation to learn more, and thanks for watching.